It's costing us taxpayers £10 million each year to keep more than 4,000 alcoholics on benefits. This man runs what he terms a priory for the poor and believes the government is just throwing money away. Uh, it's just putting a sticking plaster over a, a weeping wound. And, and the reality is it's a, we have to take a holistic approach to, to the problem and deal with the whole person and their families. He wants to see alcoholism recognised as a disease, as does this addict. It isn't seen as a disease by, by doctors, uh, as far as I'm aware. And I believe they only, they only get a brief um, sort of like education on, on uh, alcoholism. What makes you different to the person who goes home and drinks a bottle of wine, maybe two bottles of wine an evening? Again, it's my thinking. Um, I'll just tell you a little scenario that's something that you might see on TV where somebody's in a pub and they've got half a pint and a taxi comes and they just get up and they leave and go and get the taxi. I wouldn't do that. I would either drink what's left in the glass and miss the taxi and then have another drink. I just, I could just, I just couldn't leave it there. Alcoholics receive incapacity benefit or severe disablement allowance, depending on their circumstances. The benefit is worth between £63 and £85 a week. Manchester has 1,490 alcoholics, Salford 500 and Rochdale 460. The list goes on. Personally, I think it's an habit. Yeah, you, can, I mean, you, you don't have to drink it if you don't want to. No, I think it's a disease. I also think it's a genetic thing as well if it's in the family. I certainly think it's stronger than a habit, but as far as I know, the jury's out on whether it's a disease or genetic. I think there's various theories. The Department for Work and Pensions say they're tightening up the rules on benefits, but point out that many alcoholics will also have mental health problems, and it's by no means a clear-cut problem. Beverly Walkden for Channel M News.